What is climate tech? The term climate tech has recently surged in popularity, especially among investors. But what exactly does it mean? If you're thinking that many different technologies can help solve the climate crisis, you're right. In fact, that's kind of the point. The term climate tech refers to any technology that has the potential to address climate change. That could mean stopping the problem by reducing or removing greenhouse gas emissions, or it could mean helping people and the planet adapt to the most harmful impacts. Climate change affects everything and everyone, so climate tech spans many different industries across all sectors of the economy. Climate tech includes innovation in the way that electricity is generated, distributed, stored, and used. It includes innovation in transportation, like better batteries and fuels, as well as the vehicles that run on those power sources, like buses, trains, cars, trucks, ships, and planes, plus the transportation infrastructure that keeps everything running. It includes innovation in buildings, like efficiencies in heating and cooling, as well as technologies for sustainable construction and for managing buildings after they're built. It includes new ways to reduce emissions from materials like steel, concrete, and plastics, as well as ways to make factories and supply chains more efficient. It includes innovation in food and agricultural systems, from the farm, to the prep, to the plate, to the compost bin. Climate tech also includes the capture and storage of greenhouse gases through human-engineered processes or human-assisted natural processes, plus the use of captured carbon in high-value materials. And climate tech includes information technologies that collect, store, and display data about how people and systems contribute to climate change, as well as how they're affected by it, plus technologies that analyze the data to reduce risk. Climate tech can be physical technologies, digital technologies, or even some combination of the two. As you can see, there are many, many technologies that fall under the climate tech umbrella. This is a distinction from the last wave of investment in environmental technologies in the early 2000s. Back then, the more commonly used term was clean tech, and the focus was more narrowly on energy and electricity. There are many factors that make the current growth of climate tech uniquely exciting. But one of the biggest ones is that so many people are so passionate about stopping climate change. The climate is already changing, and we can feel it. Activists are making their voices heard. Governments are passing climate-friendly policies. Businesses and financers are trying to help more than they harm. And individuals are willing to change their actions or even their careers to have more of an impact. All of these players can be part of the climate tech ecosystem by building technologies, investing in companies, buying products, supporting solutions, or even sharing constructive criticism. This level of collective participation is essential to ensure that the change happens not just quickly, but also justly, with vulnerable groups partaking in the design of a low emission world and the prosperity it will entail. It's also important not only to develop new technologies, but also to pave the way for them to be used and implemented at a large scale, which can be a much harder challenge. To address the climate crisis, we need to make a lot of changes. These changes are exciting, but they can also be very complex and difficult. Just like with any sort of progress, technology isn't the only way forward, but it can play a helpful role in the transition.